Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Odinfall. <clears throat> I saw this pop up on Steam and there was a uh, playtest. So this is the playtest. Um, so this is going to be early and there's probably going to be bugs, but uh, that is not as uh, that is not reflective of the final product. It looked interesting. It kind of looked like a Wizard of Legend or um, possibly a Nuclear Throne-ish kind of game. I think that's what we're dealing with here. So let's uh, let's have a look. Um, this is a blind playthrough or blind Let's Try. So I'm I'm going to be seeing see what, what, what we see we got a moose the viking oh man i'm i'm a sucker for a viking gunilla the gun gnome oh i like this already cyber zerker we, we gotta try the the viking um left no, thumbstick down okay oh i see I'm, I'm moving i maybe this is better with the mouse and keyboard actually oops didn't mean to do that well we're doing it now yeah, this uh, this feels very reminiscent of Nuclear Throne in a good way. I mean, it could be a good way. I, I actually bounced off Nuclear Throne in a in a very real way. I, I tried my best to to get into it, but I found that I was just not good enough at the game. And, uh, you know, mad, uh, mad cause bad, you know, that, that kind of thing. But um, I'm, I like the format of Nuclear Throne, and I'd love to see someone else attempt it um, so that, uh, you know, we, we could see something a little bit friendlier. What, what is, what are, what are we doing here? Whoa. Oh, I see we're, we're, we're beating on this, this, this guy. I see, I like that we, um, we were, we're like, you, there's terrain deformation. So we got a shotgun. Shotgun. I'm um, not sure what our sec mouse two button does. What does SB? What does SB do? Okay, uh, Q seems to switch weapons. Yeah, we do. We do have a shotgun. Um, I'm assuming we do not have infinite ammo for said shotgun. In fact, it looks like we have 39 of 64 ammo. I, you know, I'm getting all them, them, them fun endorphin, uh, not uh, dopamine hits, sorry, um, from from the the fun sound effects. So we got something going on here for sure. What is that? Oh, it's dead. Whatever it is. There's the key. So you got to get the key in order to exit the level. So what is the my mouse two button? It seems I have a second thing now, a tablet. Empty. Still empty. I think it's like a um, space bar item. Oh, we got an axe. I don't like this thing. Stop it. At least it's got limited range. I appreciate that. Um, can we switch our small axe for a big axe? Why in the world would one do that? Uh, damage 4, damage 8, cooldown 90, cooldown... 36 spread 16 degrees so we got we got some interesting stats um strangely the giant axe has a smaller spread than um than this axe i'm not sure if uh, uh what i prefer you can use the mouse button or sorry the 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 mouse wheel to switch weapons oh i i didn't for some reason my brain did not parse that terrain as being part of the level so you got an indicator as to where the uh, the key is. So far, this is pretty good. I mean, it, it feels a bit friendlier than uh, Nuclear Throne right now. Obviously, even in the beginning, Nuclear Throne doesn't feel like a, a, a complete meltdown of difficulty. I like the music. I like the character design. I like the level design. It's uh, simple for now. Oh, what do we got here? Add a turbo trigger. To our shotgun um weapon cooldown from 60 to 42 okay we got weapon upgrades uh and it costs us money okay yeah let's do that so now we have a shorter cooldown on our shotgun okay that's interesting so i didn't really mean to enter that level okay so we we can only follow the roads i guess if we go right then uh, I don't know if we can continue. I guess we we must be able to continue going because there's levels over there um, There's a level over there. I'm, I, I'm assuming we have to keep moving away from 
this wave. We have an enemy patrol. I kind of want to see you. I like the, this, um, oh, okay. The darkness, huh? Uh, <laughs> I like this, uh, level select. It, it uh, like offers a lot of like potential strategy and it's not just the same tired level select that I've seen a thousand times before, which is just like, oh, you have a, you know, I, ironically speaking, a road or a pathway um, that just like leads you and, and forks like a couple of times. Like, yeah, it does fork, but this one is interesting because it's it's got some kind of dynamic things going on on the field. Um, I like the idea of the, the, uh, the patrolling officers or enemies that uh, make you kind of you know, make some interesting choices. Um, oh. What? Oh, I accidentally left the level. That means I left my shotgun behind. Oh, wait, no. I left my, um, my axe behind. Okay, well, that that's potentially distressing as well, actually. But, hey. So, I, I was a little bit worried that, um, Ammo is going to be so scarce that it basically there's no point like you, you basically just switched weapons as soon as you saw them uh, It's a kind of a trend. I'm not a huge fan of in these kinds of games is that oh, yeah Well, we're gonna have ammo be a thing and we're ammo is gonna be scarce um, And you're gonna need it for your gun But also like ammo is so scarce that you may as well just swap to whatever gun you find um, as soon as you find it I found that to be a not necessarily completely the case for uh, Enter the Gungeon, but kind of. Like, I, I did find that switching weapons was generally a good idea. Unless you just had, like, the best gun and then you would just hoard it until the end of the game. Um, I guess I have hot takes about a lot of, uh, like, go-to roguelikes. Add a big mag. Uh, we'll see what that does. I I'm not a huge fan of this rat horde going on here okay add a big mag um ammo capacity well what's uh, what good is the ammo capacity if, we, if we're not getting any ammo i guess we there's always the opportunity or potential we could fill up our ammo and then the shotgun will you know have a lot more ammo i i don't know if that's the case why oh we have a second shotgun on the ground now we don't want that i like this uh kind of like mini bfg i guess it's just a small fg so what is this okay so we did fill up our um like special i don't know what the special does so let's have a look at what that does so we did complete the patrol um rat ravine danger level two loot level two so yeah you're, you're making uh, interesting choices as to like what kind of challenges we want to undertake let's see what our special does max hp plus oh empty uh oh uh oh I, I i bungled slightly okay well we got some ammo that's good so uh i've been making a major mistake in that i haven't been using my special i'm very used to specials being like a one and done thing that you use once and then uh you know are good for that floor but apparently my special is it increases my maximum health by one um that's a that's a really that's actually really good i like that okay those things are kind of a pain in the butt um what do we got here add burst mag i don't have enough money can i add it to something else yeah okay so the the more upgrades you add to your weapon the um the the more it costs now, obviously, adding a burst mag to the shotgun seems like a good idea, um, but it is going to make it uh, ammo a bit more uh, scarce. But uh, interesting. I, 25 to add it to this thing. A, an interesting idea, but, I, I, you know, this thing already, I don't have any ammo. I, 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 I wish I had some opportunities to get some more ammo. It's starting to become a problem, I will say. I wonder if I can reach these, uh, things. I wish I had a, um, a melee weapon so I could try and, uh, shoot my way towards some of those rocks just to see if they do anything. Oh, got some more ammo. That's good. What do we got here? Oh, more ammo. Tons of more ammo. Fantastic. Uh, we 
Do we don't have our special? Okay, so area clear. I wonder, is there a dodge roll? I haven't really tried pressing all the buttons yet. I'm just gonna try pressing some buttons and it doesn't look like a lot of them do anything. So we don't really have as much uh, like depth of mobility as in say like a Gungeon or uh, nuclear throne. I kind of appreciate that actually. I'd rather not have to think about dodge rolling while I'm shooting. I listen. I know I'm a, I'm a simple man. I, I prefer games to be balanced to, to you know, um, for like someone who doesn't want to make a single game their career, if you know what I mean. I'm already bad at the game. I don't need to, I don't necessarily need the game to be so difficult or, or so, you know, skill ceiling that I can't play it basically. We got all kinds of hot takes while I play this, uh, this real quick. I am, I'm liking this so far. Oh God. Okay. That guy is, uh, was it a tank? Oh no. Okay. I don't want that. Um, that guy. Oh, I need that health. Ugh. Okay. That actually worked out really well. Frag mine. Um, wonder what if i pick this up yeah it's gonna drop that i i like my plasma pistol oh we have a shop uh but that means we're gonna have to drop something i don't i, I like what we what we've got going right now i guess i should try some other something else um i'd rather keep my money and uh, if i could get the 750 which i'm 150 away i could potentially upgrade the shotgun again i wouldn't mind having a melee weapon oh that's that's awful actually buzzer um it does use ammo okay so we only have five ammo types i guess that's kind of good to know um what about these add laser scope add double chamber so this increases the projectile but the ammo cost aim spread from zero to zero now that would actually be well i don't know I actually in some ways i think spread is a good idea um i wish we could sell some items uh you know what that's fine we don't we don't need that level of depth necessarily okay that was dangerous money yo so uh i guess my next question everything seems pretty good so far uh, and I'm, in, I'm enjoying this. I'm, in, I'm liking this. But here's my main concern is ooh, uh, How long do games take to play? Because here, here's my next hot take about roguelikes. Apparently this this is the hot take uh, Episode of let's try is I find a lot of them are just too long You know, like I, 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 I kind of miss original Isaac in some ways because it was like the longest a game took in original Isaac was like, I don't know, half an hour. That was when like Satan was the last boss. Oh, you are taking a lot of hits to kill. I know I'm not hitting you with everything, so makes sense. But at the same time, I wish you would just die. We got knuckles not a huge fan of knuckles we got a submachine gun it's an interesting idea maybe i guess i am running out of ammo for this what i could do is use up the ammo on this guy so what do we got here add homing oh that's an interesting idea oh if i could add homing to the <laughs> to the shotgun that would be really cool so let's uh i'm gonna use up the ammo on this i'm gonna sh then i'm gonna pick up the submachine gun so here's you know we're making interesting choices except i'm picking up ammo for this gun so never mind uh, i guess ammo is not scarce enough that like dropping it in favor of a different weapon is uh i don't know well we'll see we got oh extra max speed that's interesting so okay so our special doesn't just give us max health it gives us like a maybe a random stat bon bonus so that's the end. We don't want to accidentally go there because then I will lose out. And we didn't get enough to um, add homing to our shotgun, unfortunately. Um, so why don't we... Well, we, yeah, why don't we commit to this submachine gun idea? And then add homing to that. 
because it's only 25 and i actually i kind of appreciate that it's so cheap to add one upgrade to um like a tier one gun because it's it's gonna it's definitely going to encourage you to take some interest you know make some interesting choices or try some weapons that you might not normally try let's try the big gully uh no you know what let's try the infested waterworks because i want to get to this five over here we're getting we're, we're getting spicier though it must be said i don't know what sb is uh how does one do sb is sb side button no um one two tab what are the controls just tell me shoot power ability grab weapon switch weapon okay so it's space bar oh space bar that makes sense okay so we've got invulnerability i think this uh this boss feels very reminiscent we did die um that was kind of set in stone as soon as it took a lot of shots to kill that one dude oh wait a minute okay so we don't Oh, we do restart. Okay. That's a very quick restart. I did not expect that. Okay. Um, well, you know what? Let's, uh, let's try a different character then. I want to try the gun gnome. Gun gnome seems interesting. Uh, magic leaf gain health and temporary speed boost. Fire your offhand weapon. So they're dual wielders. So let's see here. Become invulnerable and reflect projectiles. Randomly increase health, speed, or ammo capacity. Okay, so that was that was uh, the the Moose Vikings move. Let's try Gun Gnome. Yeah, so I shouldn't have taken on such a difficult challenge right away. Okay, so um, they can fire both their weapons at once. They are a dual wielder, which is interesting. I like that a lot. Just wondering if I could kill it. So we got a, a Mad Max style level here. I got a oh okay. So I picked up a rocket launcher. They can fire their rocket launcher and their pistol at the same time. I'm I'm liking this game actually. It's it's pretty cool. I think this is by the same devs as uh, Atomicrops maybe. Add burst mag to the rocket launcher. Um no, let's add it to the pistol. It does have a kind of a similarish vibe in some ways. I did try Atomicrops. Um, I like Atomicrops. I didn't love Atomicrops. Um, <clears throat> I, I guess we're continuing the trend of, uh, you know, hot takes for roguelikes. Uh, my only real problem with Atomicrops is that it was a Stardew Valley roguelike in the in the same same um, like same sense that you had to play through. An entire farming game as a roguelike and then there were difficult bosses so like it would sometimes take uh like an hour and a half i like i i, I played an hour and a half of that game and then died at probably the last boss and um oh god and uh yeah that that didn't go well and then it's like, yeah, you're done. Um, try again. And like, I'm all for uh, games that, uh, you know, encourage you to get to know the game and, and learn from your mistakes. And uh, I, and I'm a, I'm a avid, avid, avid. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I you know, I've, I've been very vocal about my dislike for, for meta progression. So in, in one regard, like I'm, I'm kind of caught in the crosshairs of like, yeah, I don't like that. Uh, I don't like to have to play a game for an hour and then die and then try and just like learn from my mistakes from that way. This is why I think that roguelike games should be short because then, you know, um, my, my learning uh, is going to be a lot quicker. All right, let's take the shotgun. I like the shotgun. Oh, they, they just like killed themselves. I'm liking the gun gnome. They're pretty fun so far. Oh god, they had a rocket launcher. What what is that? What is this? Um, okay. I thought I was like gonna transport me, but instead it just killed me. <laughs> I was like, 
is this a, is this like a, a bonus level or something or a secret level no in fact no i do feel like we have just kind of um shamelessly ripped off some of uh nuclear thrones levels structure and i don't again i don't necessarily think that's a problem um but i think that some people are gonna not like that i i guess it doesn't matter it really is like it does the game do something new and interesting with it and i think it is i think that this is a different flavor than um than uh, a nuclear throne i guess we're gonna add two upgrades to the same same pistol that's pretty good oh we do have limited ammo for the pistols i didn't know that i thought for some reason in my brain i was like yeah they're they're uh infinite ammo for sure right all right well let's switch, switch to a revolver empty so the question is that when you um oh we need this when you've run out of ammo what what happens like how, how do you how do you make do i guess the, the you you get like a very cheesy melee attack you, you're basically punching with your weapons with your with your guns which is funny i like that and i like that it doesn't just like leave you high and dry okay so let's see if we can get, uh, you know, farther than like two floors. Knuckles. Knuckles and another revolver. I kind of like the idea of having two revolvers, but I also like the idea of having a knuckle puncher, knuckle duster. I wish I could have more than two weapons a little bit only because it's it's becoming a problem i think i might just use the knuckles for this floor just to try and regain some ammo oh this is not going well there are so many rats oh god frag mine oh, i don't want the frag mine <laughs> what is it is oh there's a secret okay so that was telling me there's a secret but i don't have enough money for any of that Uh, one health left. I'm dead. Okay, let's try the last character. I don't think, uh, I, I like the, the, the gun gnome. Oh, we have different variants. Beat the boss to unlock alpha skin. Um, but I don't think I'm good as the gun gnome. So, this character doesn't seem to have arms. I'm just saying they don't seem to have guns, uh, arms. Okay, so we've, we're, we have, uh, we are reliant on a melee weapon again. I wonder if they can use guns. Submachine gun. Yeah, they can. Why don't they have arms? That's kind of strange. I wonder if none of them have arms and I, I just haven't noticed until this character. I guess it's hard to tell that they don't have arms when you have their, like, the gun animated next to them like that. It's actually a clever way of saving on animations. So what's our special power? I didn't even try it. Empty. Oh, okay. We have to charge it up. What about this? Oh, we have a we have a like a charge. Oh, so there. I guess there's our dodge roll. I'm pretty sure that is a dodge roll. Okay. I guess we don't need this. Do we get? Any, I don't know if we get anything for healing when we when we don't need the healing. Oh God. We have a burst mag. You can add a burst mag to a melee weapon. What happens then? Oh, that's interesting. So it becomes a like I'm not I'm not firing it like that. It's just it's just it just does that now. Uh, we have a rocket launcher. Sure, let's uh, swap out the. We'll have the rocket launcher as our secondary, so that we can you know for oh god. Oh man. Okay, this this game really has a thing for large uh enemies. Well, that was awful. So what is this? Add a big mag. What does this do for our rusty axe? Ammo capacity, more bullets. 
Oh, I see. It gives us ammo for everything. Oh, that's interesting. Add ice runes. Now nah, let's add ice runes. Oh, can't afford it. I don't have any money. Okay, let's let's get some money. It's only 25. Ah, oh, I was really hoping I wouldn't take damage from that. Okay. Ah, oh, we managed to get enough. So let's uh, let's add an ice rune to our rocket launcher. Wow, the terrain deformation in this game is actually really fun. They 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 really went for it for this. I I will say in general I have kind of fallen off um the whole roguelite thing i i almost like now when i see roguelite or roguelike even in the uh the steam page i'm like nah i, I i'm good I, I just like i've gotten kind of very um burnt out on the format but this is uh, this is good I'm, I'm liking this so far it's familiar but different i died wow they 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 hit they killed me in two hits huh well, I want to try. I'll try one more time. I, I kind of like this character. I did like the Vi the Viking. The Viking was fun. Okay, we've got a gun. Uh, add a ch this is an upgrade. Choke barrel. A better aim spread, better attack range. I mean, I guess. Oh. Oh, this is a very good start. Ow. I was hoping I would be able to kill one of them. We got a laser pistol and a revolver and stuff like that. Uh, frag mine. They really want me to have the frag mine. The laser pistol is fun. But the, obviously the um, axe is good for stuff like this. I, I, I gotta say, even, um, even stuff like attacking through walls, which is something I would tend to do in Nuclear Throne, is uh, something that I am I'm finding myself doing in this. It, it just feels like very, uh, very familiar. <laughs> did I manage to get that upgrade? I guess I did. I, I'm really not using my charge as much as I should. I haven't even seen what my special ability, like uh, my. Uh, there we go. We'll we'll see what it does now. Oh, it's a giant punching attack. And it, it's just like absolutely goes through walls oh my god it was almost it was worth wasting it just to see how far i could go through the wall that was fantastic okay so um as opposed to the viking in this game we do have uh you know this this character has a one and done special effect which is more more like what i was expecting from a, a charge basically like a, a charge ability Use our, uh, our 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 special. I don't know what you want to call it. I don't know how to like what what to, the nomenclature is. We'll use our our I guess our charge to run around and get to the exit faster. I should like use it for closing the gap between me and an enemy. What do we got here? Oh, money! Right. Yellow means money. Orange means power up. I guess. I don't like these flies. They're kind of weird and gross. Oh god. Okay, we'll 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 try something a bit more. Ooh. When did I get that gun? This means a gun. It, oh, okay, knuckles. I don't think I want the knuckles. I like the Although, I don't know. Maybe maybe the rusty axe is not as good. I don't know. Damage 4. It's the same damage, but less cooldown. So in theory, the rusty axe and the same spread. In theory, the, the, the knuckles are, like, objectively better than the rusty axe. It just feels bad getting rid of it, you know? Okay, we actually completed a level. Um, uh, a little bit worse. So this is danger level 2 with patrolling enemies. Oh god, okay, yeah. Uh, Alright, yeah, I mean like it's it's another game that it's going to you're gonna wanna get really good at it, and I am finding myself dying on like the first and second floor. Not even floor, but like level. 
I think I would try more of this. I do think that, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I'm already seeing some of the same weapons over again, but uh, maybe that's just my luck or maybe some of the better weapons are more difficult to find. And also like, you know, I, I'm not seeing, um, you know, challenge levels beyond like two or three because I'm dying so quickly. So I don't know, take all of that um, with a grain of salt as a, you know, I, I'm probably not very good at the game yet. And I'd like to see, I, you'd want to see more of it in order to see some better weaponry and, and maybe get farther. So I don't know what the method is necessarily, but I do like the style and I like uh, where they're going with this. And I do like the kind of um, Viking theme to the whole thing. I think it's, it's pretty fun. Uh, so yeah, Odin Fall. Uh, have you tried it? I don't you, you let me know let me know in the comments and uh, yeah hit the like button and uh, do all that stuff and i'll see you guys next time take it easy